Speaking of some active weather, tornado season got off to kind of a slow start, but in the last few weeks, the number of twisters has climbed. Fox 7 meteorologist Zach Shields now tells us how the EF scale works and how to tell the strength of a tornado. A tornado strength cannot be determined just by looking at it. Examining the damage will give you a better idea of the strength of the tornado. This is where the enhanced Fujita scale comes in. EF scale gives an accurate indication of tornado strength, which includes 28 damage indicators, such as building type, structures, and trees, plus 8 degrees of damage, giving more detailed analysis and better correlation between damage and wind speed. The scale goes from EF0, the weakest, to EF5, which is the strongest. EF0 to EF1 twisters cause minor to moderate damage from branches being broken off trees and roof shingles being pulled off to mobile homes overturned and windows broken out. When tornadoes reach EF2 and EF3 strength, the damage becomes more severe with roofs being torn off, mobile homes destroyed, large trees being snapped in half, and entire stories of houses destroyed. Winds begin to reach 166 miles per hour and stronger with EF4 and EF5 tornadoes. This is when houses are completely destroyed and cars are thrown hundreds of feet. Only 0.8% of tornadoes are classified EF four or stronger. However, they are the deadliest. I'm meteorologist Zach Shields. If you have a weather question, feel free to email me or check me out on Twitter and Facebook.